Hello everyone and welcome back to my RP1 career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. We have a lot less money than we used to, but we have a lot more science than we used to. And we are researching quite a lot of stuff. We need more scientists, but we don't really have the money to hire them. The construction of the admin building will finish soon, in a month. And at that point, we'll have less costs and we'll be able to hire the scientists, hopefully. But I don't want to rush that, especially since we need money for launching things. And uh, after the admin building uh, construction is done, we'll also be picking up the crude program, and that would be good. That will boost our um, money a little bit. But first, while we are waiting for the admin building, we should get started on making other things. Uh, not the inner plant probes just yet, uh, though that's possible. We need uncrewed lunar surface exploration, and so we should launch this orbiter and mapper. We, I think, have the visible imaging device of level 2 or higher. Um, hopefully that's what that is, uh, the basic TV camera. And then we have a first lunar landing contract, which is going to be tougher. So let's go to the VAB and see what we can cook up for those. Okay, so this is the Looney 0-2, based on the Looney 0 orbiter that we had launched before. And in here... We now have the visible imaging 2, along with cosmic ray science 2, mass spectrometry 2, and infrared uh, infrared uh, radiometer 2. So again, it's a sequel one, and uh, otherwise everything should work out the same, uh, hopefully. Uh, we've still got the Agena D secondary propulsion system and all that business, and we'll just package it up and go. Meanwhile, on ELA-5, we'll be building this. This is the Looney-1. And so it's a lander, and I've decided to abuse this little guy, the sample return command module, because it seems lighter than any other controller that can control 0.15 tons that we have right now. And so if we put these little guys, the MC4610s, uh, with on only two ignitions and 235 seconds of specific impulse, uh, and a rated burn. Well, I mean, we're pushing the rated burn time. We've seen that they can do three minutes. Uh, so with those, we are going to try to make a landing, uh, but it's a long shot. Really, we are going to be waiting for the unlock of the early docking procedures research, and then we'll have MMH Mon 3 thrusters that have infinite ignitions, not infinite throttling, but infinite ignitions, which will be good enough. And in that case, the landing will be much easier. But this is a long shot one, and we'll try it. Um, I forget if they have throttling. Let me see. They do not. So that's the rub. It's got to be a suicide burn. They only have two ignitions. And yeah, probably that's not going to work out for us. So we will see. And then we have this little engine here. So what's going to happen is the Gina D secondary propulsion system will capture us into orbit around the moon and then bring us a little bit lower. This engine will initiate our descent and uh, then that will have to handle the rest. Uh, it's tight uh, and we're on the Deneb A3. The boosters are not welded this time. They have the decouplers, but that's not necessary. And... Um, Otherwise, it's the same setup that you've seen before. So we will try it out, but my expectation is it's not going to work and that we're going to have to get the early docking procedure science to get a good lander. So let's build this at ELA-5. We might as well figure out the transfer windows to Venus and Mars. Well, there's one right there. Um, maybe we should try the Venus flyby contract as well, but I don't know if we have time to build it. Um, Aug oh, uh, departure's February 3rd, so yeah, I guess we do. Plenty of time. The Mars window is further off. We still need to check out our comms and power for that. Okay, we'll get the Venus flyby on the assumption that our existing rocket will be able to handle that. I'm just gonna build one. Oh, why is... Oh, we have all our staff at ELA-5. That's not good. So... That should work out. But I'm just gonna build one. 
because possibly we'll want the high uh, the MMH Mon three engines for that as well, right? So that would be better. Okay, we have finished the admin building, so we will pick up the crude orbit program, and we'll have to talk a lot about that. Um, unfortunately, we don't have enough points for fast. Hmm. Maybe we should wait, because we're really close to the amount of points that we want for fast. For some reason, these contracts don't give extra confidence. Um, don't suppose that builds up over time or something. Oh well, we'll wait a little bit. We are gaining confidence over time, it looks like. So that's good. Let's try and launch the Looney 0 2, and maybe that'll give us some confidence. Okay, now we have the confidence points at Time Warp 2, a better window for the moon. And now, crude orbit. Picking it up. Going fast. Deadline 2003. We should have all the sciences lined up, so hopefully. Okay, we are launching at night time, and we're launching northward. SAS on, throttle. <laughs> Why does it sometimes work and not work sometimes? Okay, throttle is up, and ignition. And launch. Okay, separation. Bearings. My trajectory was a little bit off this time. Okay, third stage. Yeah, it's gonna be tough for orbit. We'll see. Looks like we're rather early, but we can probably overburn and make it work out. In theory, that NFG is doing something, but apparently not for us. We've got an A3 there, which should be a new one, but it's also not helping us, apparently. Okay, that's it, and we are short of orbit. Apoapsis is here, close to Grand Canary. We'll probably want some inclination because it is a mapper. Then again, it really only required visible imaging of one biome. But we want all the stuff, right? I guess our satellites are dead or something. I mean, when I go to network, all sorts of lines pop up. Including from these that should be able to relay and ones that have very nice cones. Uh, but somehow none of them like us. So that's not great. Does this dish have a attitude problem? <laughs> Oh, now we have comms. Uh, comms through Grand Canary, okay. Well, we can just burn. That's not working. Okay. Go. Alright, it is done. I guess we might as well get some extra mileage out of the RCS. But maybe we should just move on to the secondary propulsion system up top. This is going to take too long otherwise. So, separation. We'll probably have a mid-course adjustment anyway. Okay, that's what I want. Okay, go. Okay. So, okay, we are crashing into it. Um, maybe I'll do some RCS for that. Okay, that'll be fine. Of course, we're going to turn and mess all that up. 
I'm going to eventually do a mid-course adjustment that makes us more polar. I don't know if we're going to have communication at that periapsis, though. Well, this is fine orientation. We're just doing a lot of science right now, but we can temporarily shut off the... Well, let's spin up first. Okay, now shutting down avionics and we're all balanced. I'll just use the RCS. Okay. Um, gently turn back to the sun. Uh, I think we'll have comms at that periapsis. We'll take multiple burns, of course, with the secondary propulsion system, so we should start early. Regardless of the run time, we're definitely going to run it until we capture for this first burn. Okay, that is a capture. The ignition again. Okay, stopping. And right at periapsis. We doing visible imaging stuff? It says waiting. Hmm, I'm worried. Does it need to be? I don't understand why I'd be waiting. We've got some. We don't have 100% of this area, do we? We didn't send visible imaging to before, I don't think. Okay, well, that's pretty low. Um, 70, let's say 73 by 47. Well, it says Lowlands is sticking up, so. Okay. Come on, Lowlands. Well, we got Lowlands, but it doesn't seem to think that this is a visible imaging device of level 2 or higher. But it says visible imaging too. <laughs> I've collected science in at least one biome. What does this mean? Why does it have to be this way? Uh, whatever. Back to Space Center. Well, I guess we'll try a lunar landing. That one's ready to go, in fact. No funny requirements about that, right? Land on the moon. Transmit science. I hope I have some science. Probably just telemetry. Well, we got some more credits for... Wait a second. It checkmarked that. Hold on. I'm going to leave this on the pad for a sec. Maybe I collected it but not transmitted it. I don't understand. But it seemed like we had transmitted it. We didn't have any spare data lying around. Okay, now it completed. Shoot. Um, all right, fine. Something weird about that one, but at least we got it done. Okay, well, that's a load off. Okay, here we go. SAS on, throttle is up, ignition. And launch. Of our least likely to work lunar lander. Oh, we lost one engine. That was one of the booster engines. So we'll be lugging that fuel, that's not great. Wonder if I can jettison it. It's a little bit late now, but I should have had the separatrons go too. But I guess that's one good thing about having the decoupler. Our staging seems off quite a lot. Um... Oh well. It works out. 
All right, separation and ignition. All right, a bit lopsided, but okay. Just about right. And we'll just knock off that stage right now. Why don't I just smack into the moon? <laughs> I don't want to make orbit. Too much trouble. The early landers didn't do that sort of thing. That we're probably not smacking there, because, you know, by the time we get there, everything will have moved, but... We want it to be... Daylight, and we want to be facing Earth. Those are the two most important things. So for now, we'll have it like that. And going. Okay, we'll do the rest of RCS. I think the decoupling will give us that much kick, so let's just uh, decouple and then use the RCS on the Gina secondary propulsion system. So, yes. Uh, we got 2.7 out of it. Oh, uh, we got 7.3 out of it. <laughs> uh, okay, well, that's good to know for future reference. So again, the reason why we have this little engine here is because the Gina secondary propulsion system doesn't have it probably has enough thrust, but because of the 50 second burn time thing, uh, it's a little bit more annoying for starting off our landing. So I wanted to have something that could continuously burn at that point. This looks good enough to me. Near Earth avionics only provide. Oh. Um, it looks like this, this sh shouldn't have been the near Earth avionics core. I thought this was a deep space one, like we've used this, you know, you've seen me use this one before. But maybe it's because, uh, I guess that little core on the top has only near Earth avionics. So we can't use it for this. Well, important to know. It'll be fine. Once we unlock the Wichmacot MH and Mon 3 or whatever, the bipropellant hypergolics. This little trick using this thing won't be as necessary anymore, so. Okay. So noted. Now, in order to make this crash course work, of course, we're going to need to do multiple burns along the way with the Agena secondary propulsion system long before we crash. We'll try and spin it up to hold orientation. So 2,770, and you can see our speed right now, but of course we're going to be going faster soon. Okay, we've got a nominal apoapsis. We ran it for quite a bit, but... So far, we need, well, seven minutes, and, okay, basically the time we have there, but um, that's got to change as we slow down, though, so it's complicated. We'll have to save some fuel with the Gina just for using the RCS, I think. I don't know, maybe we don't need that. Well, this setup seems to still have the surplus mon 3. I forgot to rebalance it on this graph file. Okay, the ORM 65. This does have throttling, it has low power mode. 3 minutes and 28 seconds for the final stage. Okay, that is done. We're going to spin up now. And it's going to be a complete dumb fire. The only trick I have is I can shut down the center engine. Okay, go. These little guys are firing.
Suicide Burn Countdown is doing what it ought to do, but we're, we've wobbled away from the retrograde vector. I wonder if it actually works. We might as well try, but I don't think it does. I think it meant it about the avionics. It's too wobbly. I'm getting wobblier. Suicide burn countdown not going well now. Just looking for a litho break. It's more sideways than anything else right now, so... I tried! We could have spun up faster, though. It actually maintained communication pretty well. Um, yeah. It did not count that as a landing. <laughs> All right, back to Space Center. Well, we do have a lot of science. Now, ultimately, for EVA, we have to do an EVA. And we can't EVA out of the Mark 1 pod, as far as I know. Part doesn't allow EVA. Gemini pod does. I hate this advanced command pod. It looks horrible. But we might have to use it just to do the EVA. And maybe nothing else. The other option is, I guess the dinosaur cockpit allows EVAs, right? Seems like it. Um, it doesn't actually require second gen capsules. But dinosaur... This is, oh, this, uh, this is a generic one. Two-person space plane cockpit rated for LEO re-entries. And we can EVA out of it. Hmm. Well, maybe that's the key. Hopefully we'll have aerodynamic surfaces that can handle that as well. Yeah, let's try prototype space planes. If I have to, I'll toss something of my own in there that's of the same kind. We'll have space plane B9 control surfaces. Maybe I'll just make something generic with these things. With the Mark 1 cockpit. And then eventually we'll have Mark 2 things. For Mars, we want better solar panels. So I'm going to queue this one up. Tech level 3. Might, might even want this one. External fuel cell folding solar panels. Improved avionics. I mean, I guess. But it's really nickel and diming us on those. Because we're going to have to tool them again and again and again and again. Maybe I'll just wait. But then the deep space avionics we really need. For If we're doing prototype space planes, we don't actually need the Gemini heat shield. This engine's nice, but... Well, it is below the thrust limit for whether I decide that we need to stick to European stuff, right? I said Araby or less, we don't care. So it might be good for landings. Not strictly necessary. I think we'll wait. I don't know what other science we want, and we've already got a lot queued up. Uh, since our budget is positive now, let's hire some... Researchers, um, well, we would take all our money to do that. Okay, let's not do all of them. We can hire a maximum of a thousand, but uh, let's save some money for actual launches. Okay, well, we've got cloud over to Space Center today, but we have made our first attempt to land on the moon. That didn't quite work out, but at least we got a lunar orbiter and got that contract fulfilled. And I'll try something a little bit different for landing on the moon next time. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.